What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here and welcome to the first episode of my new career mode uh, called Pompey Youth Stars. Now, as the name suggests, I've decided to go with Portsmouth for this and I had a lot of suggestions from you guys uh, all suggesting Portsmouth or a lot of people suggesting Portsmouth, sorry. And the more suggestions I got, the more I liked the idea because um, they have really fallen from grace. They won the won the FA Cup in 2008 and now they're languishing in League 2 as you can see there. They're... Uh, the stats have gone right down, they're not rated so highly at all, so it'd be really good uh, to do a sort of road to glory career mode with them, or more of a return to glory almost, see if we can get them back up the leagues, back into the Premier League eventually. Now as the name suggests, I've decided to go with uh, youth stars, hopefully it's not a bit too overambitious, uh, mainly focusing on youth players and uh, regens only, so I won't be buying any real players. And so um, I'm thinking of also doing a career mode, a different career mode where I do buy players, but um, if you have any suggestions for teams uh, for that, then let me know because um, be interested to hear that. And that would only only be buying players from my articles on my website, so you'd be able to get some tips on good players to buy from that. Uh, so I'm really I'm just going to sim the first season on this, uh, just so we can quickly get into uh, scouting some players, and then we can see them develop in a, in subsequent seasons. I might also sim the second season if the scouting doesn't go so well in the first year. Call them a manager, Bob Jackson, because he was the uh, manager in the 40s and 50s when they won the league a few times, kind of their glory years. So I thought that'd be a good way to, uh, good thing to inspire me to hopefully get back to those glory years again. Okay, just start up the season now and they've set me some pretty ambitious targets. They want me to win the league uh, and also come in the uh, round of 32 in the domestic cup. So that uh, may not be so difficult, but winning the league, that could be quite tough uh, given the uh, given the squad that they've got. Hopefully we can make a good go of it though. Uh, we're also saying that we should look for a striker, so uh, maybe I should be scouting for that early on. Right, let's have a look at the youth staff that we can bring in. Uh, any that we can afford, got a good range there actually. Um, but I don't really want to be spending my entire budget on one scout because I won't even be able to sign any players if I do that. Um, let's go for this one star, one star scout just for now and uh, when when you buy a scout he gets replaced by another one and uh, quite often they get replaced by a better one so hopefully we can get like a 2-2 scout perhaps. Uh, no, just another one star, one star scout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go forward another week and uh, see who we get, uh, get in then. But before that I will send out that scout and to a location to see if he can find some players for me. Right, Leroy Murphy has now arrived and uh, he's an English scout. I'm going to send him to England uh, for, let's have a look, for six months I think we can afford that. Uh, tell him to look for any type of player at the moment, see what we get and then we can be more specific in later scouting trips. Okay, so the scouts have changed and uh, we have this guy here, a two star, two star scout, another one up there at the top as well. I think I will go for one of those because although they almost cost £200,000, I am selling a few players. Hopefully that will bring my budget back up to a reasonable amount and uh, we can afford him and that, that should make a difference. That should bring in better players than just using a one star, one star scout. So I think we're going to go for this guy here, Hakon Demidov, £187,000, let's hire him. Right, so Demidov has now arrived. Let's have a look at where we can send him. I think I think I'll go to uh, go here actually Central Europe let's see I'll send them to Germany I think because Germany are a very good nation uh, very good chance of finding high quality players so let's send him there uh, oh that's quite expensive 143,000 maybe we'll just send him for three months for the time being and um, see what we can get from that and then we can we can go from there Okay, so we have our first offer here for Joe Devera. Let's see what it is. His value is 110,000. They want 90,000. I think I'm going to just push that up to 100,000 to see if they accept that. That would be a good boost to our finances. And yep, they've just come back and they said they're going to match it. So that's good. That's one deal sorted. 100,000 pounds in the bank. Okay, we now had another offer just come in a couple of days later. One for Tom Craddock. Um, and his value is 140,000, they want 120,000. Um, again, I think I'm just going to push that up a little bit to 130,000. That would be a really nice boost to the uh, transfer budget. Let's see if they accept that one. Oh, and straight away, a day later, we have one for Connor Chaplin. Um, they want 30,000, that's only 5,000 less than his actual value. I think I'm going to accept that straight away. Don't really want to risk scaring them off. So, yep, yeah, we'll accept that. And if all these get accepted, that's all three of our transfers done. Okay, uh, crew are not going to budge on Tom Craddock. They want to keep it at 120,000. I'm going to say yes because 10,000 pounds may not make a huge amount of difference and it's all good money. So, we'll say yes for that one. 
and then also just below that we have some good news we have managed to sell Joe Devera so £80,000 has been added to our transfer budget Okay, some more good news. Uh, Tom Craddock's been sold, so we've got £100,000 for that sale. And uh, Connor Chaplin has also been sold, and we've got £25,000 for that. So let's have a look at our transfer kitty now. So we have uh, £401,500 transfer budget and 16750 I'm going to have a look at the uh, free agents, see if there are any good players to sign from there. Okay, after looking through the free agents, uh, weren't a huge amount in there that looked any good, but there is this guy, Mohamed Sobni, 20 years old central midfielder. Got some nice looking stat ranges there, especially that short passing 65 to 75. Uh, so hopefully he'll have a good rating, uh, good for our team, maybe uh, late 50s, early 60s, something like that. That would be quite useful. He could slot straight into the first team. So I'm going to go ahead, see how much he wants in wages. So he wants £2,000. We have uh, 15000 500 left so I'm gonna I'm gonna see if he'll accept 1500 because we do have enough money to afford that in the wage budget but at the same time I want to spend as much as possible on scouting so let's bump that up to five years see if that convinces him and 1500 in wages okay good news uh, Mohammed Sobni has accepted that deal even though we offered him a little bit less for wages he has accepted so that's good news we'll get him on the team Okay, let's have a look at Sobni now. Let's see what oh, he's rated. 58, so that's not at all bad if you consider our other players are rated in the sort of high 50s to low 60s. And he's only 20 years old, so hopefully he'll grow nicely. Got some decent stats in there. Uh, dribbling and passing is stronger points, and uh, hopefully that'll be very useful. He could provide some goals for our team, hopefully. So he should be a good addition. Okay, here is our first scouting update from uh, Leroy Murfin, let's see here, 52 to 72 potential for Andy Amu, gonna reject that player. Uh, ooh, Angus Hickford, 66 to 88 potential, that's not at all bad. So usually what I do in this situation is I take this sort of middle number, so his potential would be roughly 77, that could be very useful indeed for our team. Um, I think I'm gonna continue scouting him just to let it narrow down a little bit more so we can see how good he really is in a month's time. Right, we've got Murfin's uh, scouting report back. Let's see who he's brought us. He has now narrowed down Angus Hickford to 66 to 84 potential. Still looking pretty decent, uh, possibly mid to high 70s potential. I'll be quite happy with that. And it's good as well because we're looking for a goalkeeper. Uh, Portsmouth have got two goalkeepers, but I don't think they're going to grow very much at all. They're in their late 20s and they're not that great. So getting a good goalkeeper in for the future would be a top priority. So I'm going to sign Angus Hickford. Uh, let's see who else we've got. Chris Odubajo, 53 to 73, you're going to reject him. And uh, Danny Ofori Trumasi, 56 to 78, reject him as well. Okay, now we've got our scouting update from Demidov. Let's see what he's brought us back. 56 to 76, potential. No, I think I'm going to reject that player. Uh, and Zlatan Hessel, 49 to 69, even worse potential. He's going to be rejected as well. So Demidov is now available to go elsewhere. Let's, uh, let's send him... To, let's try and keep it a bit realistic. Uh, let's send him to Scotland. Uh, yeah, Scotland for six months. Let's see what he brings back. Right, here is Murfin's uh, scouting report for November. Oh, hello there. We have Brad Knight, 72 to 94 potential. 15 years old, so we'll have to wait at least a season for him, but he looks fantastic. No question there. Definitely signing him up. Uh, James Hitley, 50 to, 52 to 72. Reject him. Matt Collins, 63 to 81. So he is looking like he'll probably be late 60s, early 70s potential. I think we can probably do without him, so reject that player. And Ryan Ritchie, 56 to 76, reject that player as well. Right, here is Demidov's uh, scouting report for November. Let's see who he's brought back. Andrew Robson, 66 to, 7, to 88, sorry, potential. Uh, that looks pretty decent to me. I think I'm going to sign him up. Uh, Ian MacArthur, 56 to 74, that'll be a no. Oh wow, hello. Uh, Mark Doherty, 78 to 94 potential. Wow, he is definitely getting signed up. Another good goalkeeper. I said I wanted some goalkeepers, now I found two good ones. Definitely sign that player. Here is uh, Murfin's report for December. Uh, oh wow, another really good player. I don't know how I've done this. This guy is a one-star, one-star scout. But whatever, we have Liam Osborne here, 68 to 90 potential, looking really good. Uh, so definitely sign him up. Not right now. 
Right, okay, so we've got Demidov's uh, report for January. Let's have a look at who he's got. So got Aaron Miller, 65 to 83 now. That's narrowed down. So uh, probably potential in the early to mid 70s. Uh, I think I'm going to turn that down. Oh, wow. Hello. Uh, Darren Paulette, 80 to 94 potential, just 15 years old. Wow. What a player. He is getting signed up, no question about that. Uh, then we have David Brown, goalkeeper, 68 to 92. Another good goalkeeper. I don't know how I'm doing this. Um, definitely sign that player up straight away. Gary Wallace, 57 to 79 potential. Uh, don't need him. Going to reject that one. So here we've got um, Murphy's report for March. Let's see who he's brought back. Only one player. Uh, that's pretty disappointing. Uh, John Paul Sambia, 50 to 70 potential. Definitely turn that player down. So that means that Murfin is now available, and uh, where shall I send him this time? I think we're going to go let's have a look in Italy. So this is now uh, Demidov's last report in Scotland. Uh, Jim Gilchrist, 61 to 83, going to turn that player down, I think. Uh, Stephen Murdoch, 58 to 78, turn him down as well. So we now, whoops, we now have him available to go somewhere else. So let's see, where should we send him? Where haven't we been? Um, let's have a look here. Um, actually, let's go back to England and scout there again. Um, let's keep it a bit more realistic. So we're going to go to England for six months. £71,000. Let's do it. Right, here we go. So 1st of May, we have a few uh, boosts here, all in the sort of mid 50s. This guy's looking good though, could be in the mid 60s. Um, oh, wow. 68 to 76 <laughs> overall and he's just 15 imagine what he's going to be like next year wow looking forward to promoting him uh goalkeeper as well is looking good mid 60s at just 15 years old um and oh wow hello mark doherty 70 to 74 um, overall sorry and he's ready to be promoted so i think i am going to offer him a contract and he is 17 years old uh yeah let's just stick to the standard things there i think and who else? Anyone else worth promoting? I'm not sure this guy is going to be that great, to be honest. So I think actually I'm going to release him because he's only 49 to 55 overall. The potential isn't that high either. And we have some other fullbacks in the youth squad. So he's going to be released. Um, let's have a look here. Um, I think I will also... I'm also going to promote this guy here, Brad Knight. He looks like he's going to be good. So I will uh, will offer him a contract. Yep, just standard stuff again. In fact, you know what? I got quite a small squad. Let's let's promote everyone who we can, uh, who is eligible to be promoted, and we'll see how they do when they all get promoted. Right, let's have a look at how these players did when they were promoted. Uh, so here we go: Liam Osborne, fifty-seven. Uh, overall, 16 years old, got some nice stats in there. 72 stand tackle, especially. Um, let's see how tall he is because he's very slow. So uh, six for two. I might actually just play him at centre back to be honest. Good tackling and good height as well on him. Uh, oh wow, Mark Doherty, 73 overall. Look at some of those goalkeeper stats. I was looking for a new goalkeeper, and guess what? I found an amazing one. Uh, oh wow, has potential to be special as well. Um, he is going to go straight into the starting lineup. He could be absolutely incredible. So it has potential to be special. That means his potential is at least 91. Could be even higher. Um, so what player he's going to be. Uh, Andrew Robson, 56 at 16. He's the phys physically strong centre forward. Uh, so it could be interesting to see how he develops, actually. Could be quite a useful player uh, going forward. Got Brad Knight, 62 at 16. That's a pretty good overall for such a young age. But again, I think he's another player who'd be good at centre-back because he's very slow. Uh, oh, Five-star skills and a full-back, that'll be useful. Uh, but he's six foot one, good tackling stats as well, so I'll probably put him at centre-back. And uh, Angus Hickford, the other goalkeeper, 57 rated at 16 years old. Could be a decent backup goalkeeper as well. So we've got some decent players in there, uh, especially this guy here, Mark Doherty. What a find he was. He's found with a two-star, two-star scout, I think. Um, so you don't have to have five-star scouts to find amazing players. Guaranteed, yeah, granted, I didn't find tons of amazing players. Um, these are decent players, but you can find really, really good players, even with very low-rated scouts. 
So here is the table at the end of the season. We're set the goal of winning the league. Uh, we only just missed out on that, 97 points. Uh, really good points tally, but not quite enough to win the league, but we're getting promoted, so I'm pretty confident we'll be able to keep the job from that. Uh, let's have a look now at how all our players grew at the end of the season. So we had some decent growth here. Sobni grew uh, three points to 61, looking very decent now. Very competent central midfielder for us in there. Jed Wallace up to 67. Uh, he's my highest potential player, 74 potential, so he's looking very decent indeed. Um, and uh, other decent growth all around. Uh, Alex Winter plus four points. Uh, so yeah, so we've got some decent growth there. All these good youth players, really looking forward to trying some of them out, especially Mark Doherty. So uh, yeah, so there's our haul after the first season. Um, I'm going to head on into the second season in the next episode. Um, let me know what you thought. If you've got any suggestions of what I could do uh, in this series, love to hear that. Keep your feedback coming. It's really, really important, really good to hear. So uh, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and uh, cheers for watching.